Okay, so how many of you built Teams apps before? Okay, now how many of you use Teams Toolkit? Okay, yeah, that's a good crew. Nice. Okay, so today we're going to build Teams apps using Teams Toolkit. If you've never heard of it before, it's an extension for Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code. Uh, so you can just go ahead and in the extensions, if you type Teams Toolkit, you will find out Teams Toolkit. And this is a basically easiest way to create Teams apps uh, in general. And we are going to create a message extension today. And that's not the fancy part. After doing that and testing out, we will actually write code using Copilot suggestions. I hope I will not write anything. I'll just type the comments and see what Copilot is suggesting. And then I'll just tab enter if everything goes well. We'll see. So I will create a message extension, and for today's demo, we're going to use a search-based message, message extension, JavaScript, and then let's give it a name, Teams Copilot Demo. OK, so once I put it in a name, uh, it, the Teams will get scaffolds my project. And uh, before we jump into it, I just want to run the demo. Uh, so we see the original version, and then we go back and uh, change the code a little bit and see the difference between the first version and the uh, latest version. So to do that, I first need to go to Teams Toolkit, and then I have to log in with my Microsoft 365 account to test this out. It has to have side loading enabled, and I'm waiting it to be loaded. <laughs> And uh, Teams Toolkit requires a sort of like Microsoft 365 account, which you can get uh, as if you're looking for a demo account, you can get it from Microsoft 365 developer program. There it is. So my account is a developer account and uh, its side loading is already enabled. So let's go ahead and debug. And then we can take a look at the code a little bit. So. Message extensions uh, were the star of build. I don't know if you watch uh, the keynote session today, but we were talking about, like Rajesh was talking about how you can build message extension and it will act like a uh, copilot extension in the future, um, M365 copilot extension in the future. So today we are also using message extension. It's not copilot extension yet, but it can be. So if you're seeing message extension for the first time, I just want to quickly walk you through what is inside the code. So message, message extensions are actually using bot framework in the background. They're not bots, but these are actions in the uh, chat, basically the place where you put your text. And uh, the index.js is the main file where we put all of the setup and configuration of your bot uh, or message extension. And teams.bot.js is the place where we have all the details about the bot or message extension for us. We are using search-based message extension. So the experience will be when I go and uh, click on the message extension, I will be able to type something. And then my search query will be searching uh, inside uh, npmjs.com, and it will return the result. So if I'm searching, for example, Microsoft Graph NPM package, then I will be able to get that click on it and then uh, create an uh, adaptive card with it. So once my app is ready to go, it will in initiate the Teams in the browser, and then I will log in with my demo account. And I think I should be good to go. The only step is the authentication. Sorry about that. OK. And Team Toolkit is now available in uh, code spaces too. If you're interested in using that in the code spaces, you can also check that out. Once my app is ready to test out, we will just add that in the Teams chat with someone so we can test our message extension. And this is running locally, so you can mainly use Teams Toolkit to debug your uh, bot message extension or tab as well. Okay, so. My app is ready to add in the chat. And we are adding in the uh, chat, and then we can test it out.
it will be there. It's like, <laughs> I know it's the, I mean, I will blame the internet connection of the conference room. Okay, so as you can see, I tested this out for many times. So you can see the packages I added in the chat already. Okay. It's loading, yes. So this is our message extension. So if I type, for example, Microsoft Graph, I should be able to get Microsoft Graph related packages in NPM. Yes, so for example, I can click any of these. This will generate an adaptive card and then I can send this out in the chat with my colleague Rabia. So we finished the hardest part. Now we are going back to the code and then start editing the code the way we want. What we're gonna do is we will create a new API, really basic API using the copilot suggestions. And then we will call the API and get all the data from the API and that's pretty much it. And we are hoping that copilot will be able to do that um, without asking me to code so much. Okay, so first thing I will do, I will add products.js and then I will start commenting out stuff like um, create products array with the properties name, okay, ID, description, and let's see. Okay, so Copilot is giving suggestions already. I'm just tap, enter, tap, enter. So, mainly it can generate, uh, as long as I put the right comment, good comment, a clear description for Copilot. It can generate me any type of code I want. And um, in this case, I think it was successful to create an array. And it even suggests me the next step, like export the products array. I will do that. And I need to export the products array. And we are good. So we created the uh, array. And then next step for us is uh, creating the API. We will go to index.js and then uh, here uh, in between the HTTP server, I will just first import the products array from, uh, import the products array from products.js and then we will create an async API to get the product includes name using filter. So I want to use the filter and checking lowercase because our product names are uppercase. I want to make sure user can get the result anyways. Okay, so it's giving me some suggestions, like name, it's creating name with the lowercase and I think it got it correctly. Oop. Okay, so we got the API as well. I think it looks okay and we will see if it will work or not in a second. So let's continue. So now this is the place uh, the, in default, we are getting the response. Uh, now we are calling the npm.js uh, URL to get the search query. I will just comment this out and then I will create a new uh, API call for myself. Let's say that um, get response from the API call uh, to the product API using port, port is important, 3978. 
Okay, some suggestions. I think it got it correctly too. Okay, so just to make sure the adaptive cards work straightforward, I need to check that if data layer is the same. For me, uh, I don't have any objects or package. And you can tell I tested this before. I know it doesn't work with the package or other stuff. Okay, so I saved and it's hot loading, so I can go ahead and test my bot right away. Just want to make sure it's there. Yeah, okay, it's loaded. I will select Teams Copilot demo. I think this was the app they created, and then I will type, type product. <laughs> Okay, so I can click any of them and this will generate an adaptive card. That's what I wanted to show today. I know it looks simple, but I think it shows the power of Copilot. You can literally do anything you want. And if you're new to Teams development, Teams Toolkit together with Copilot is so easy to get started. I highly recommend you. Uh, and uh, that's all.